Hey guys, this is Josh from JLAffiliates.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a squeeze page that converts. I'm not going to get into the technical details. Um, I'm going to get into what is the most important and that is the structure, the layout, um, you know, exactly what you need to do with the squeeze page in order to maximize the conversions and build your list um, you know, to the max. So. Um, there are well first off you know squeeze page in, in case you don't know a squeeze page is basically a sales page that isn't selling something it's giving something away in exchange for um, the person's name and email which will go onto your email list and then you can you know email them uh, multiple times in the future so uh, you know the benefits are fairly obvious you build your list and your list is you know the money's in the list as they say it's very true um, an effective email marketing campaign can be extremely, extremely profitable. Um, obviously, the the best way, the best lead that you can have on an email list is a buyer, someone who has purchased a product and then you you know ask for their name and email for updates or whatever, um, and then you get them on your list. You know they've already purchased, so they'll probably buy again from you. So that's the absolute best. But you know, obviously, you can't kick out a new product every week. So you know, you're going to in between the times that you're creating products, if you are. You want to, you know, do everything else you can to build your list too, because although, you know, someone who opts in for something free isn't quite as valuable as someone who purchases something, it's still a lead and it's still valuable. So, and squeeze pages are one of the best ways to do that. Um, I've built my list. Uh, probably over half of my list is from squeeze pages, um, so I do have experience with it and I do know what works and what doesn't. So. Um, I'll just quickly go over the important aspects of a squeeze page and you're looking at one right here um, there's actually a header here but this is actually my squeeze page and I'm not trying to self promote in this video I just want to go over and show you um, some of the key things so I'm not going to show you um, the product name or anything but um, the number one thing is the the entire squeeze page needs to be short and enticing you don't want it to be it's it's not a sales page a sales page is long and you know is you're trying to you're trying to convince the person to you know enter their credit card information or PayPal information and and you know give you some money. In this case, you're not. All you want to do is entice them. You know, it could be any. It could be something very tiny to something huge. Just anything that that entices them and gets their interest. You know, all they need is enough interest to be willing to give up their name and email. You know, and that's not much, especially considering they, you know, most of them know that they can unsubscribe if they don't like it. So it's not a big deal. So you don't really need to convince them all that much. All you need to do is entice their interest, get them a little bit interested, or at, at least a little bit interested. Hopefully, you know, very interested. Um, so you start off doing that by um, a, a, a bold, descriptive headline, and that goes for a sales page or a squeeze page. Um, the same. Um, you want it to be. You want your headline to be bold, but not misleading. And you want it to hit on the primary benefit of the product, whatever it is you're giving away. Um, you know, what's the primary benefit that whatever this is I'm giving you is going to do for you? And you want that to reflect in the headline. So in this case, if you create small sites in one hour that earn at least $100 a piece, how many would you create? So you know, it's pretty obvious this is something that's going to you know, teach you how to create small sites in an hour that earn at least one hundred dollars a piece. You know, it's it's it doesn't get much you know more clear than that. So you know right away exactly what you're getting, and now you're just going to get a little bit of information about it. So I use a letter format. You don't have to depending on, depending on what you're exactly you're giving away um, and doing. But you know, I use a letter format. Fellow internet marketer, listen, blah blah blah. So you know, you use a little sales copy. I'm not going to get into copy, um, what works and what doesn't here. That's a whole different video. But you know, write a little copy. Don't worry too much about it if you're not a you know if you're not a copywriting expert. Um, just kind of look at some other sales uh, squeeze pages and and try to go from there. That's what I did, and I've always done pretty well. Um, you want to add some social proof if if possible, or just some proof, not social proof. Um, we'll get into that here in just a minute, but just proof of whatever it is you're claiming. Show some kind of proof. Um, and as you can see right here, this site um, number one in Google after Panda and Penguin. Um, so you know that's proof that these small sites that I'm you know I'm telling people they can make. Um, it's proof that you know I can get it ranked and get traffic to it and earn money. So it's pretty good proof there. Although that site <laughs> uh, is like number three or number four yet, so I do need to update this with a different site that is ranking well. Um, 
and then and then here's some proof on the actual income from the site so I show you yeah, this is how I get it ranked and then this is how much money I've made so far don't lie about it make sure it is accurate it's true um, you know finish off your copy it's, you know like I said it's short you don't want to make it very long as you can see right here right from the title um, down to the opt-in which is directly below this and it shows the name so I'm not going to show that either um, that's that's all it is okay so some some copy some proof a good call to action and a clear opt-in form <clears throat> are very very important the call to action is you know the text that is getting them to enter their name and email so I start off by saying and I'm going to show you how I do it that's not the call to action yet but that's leading to it add a little bit of more of a little bit more copy and then I get into the call to action which like I said I'm not going to show you that because that shows the product name here but <clears throat> I basically say claim your copy right now for free so that's the call to action then directly below that I have the you know I ask for the name and email and that's it and then below that I have a testimonial from a very well known actually from Jonathan Leger who I do this I'm doing this video for as his affiliate manager um, so you know you have a if you can get someone you know at the top of the um, niche you know Jonathan Leger he's obviously very well known in the internet marketing niche and this is a product in the internet marketing niche so I'm showing people hey look you know Jonathan Leger who is you know extremely well known and successful he even recommends this product so you know a lot of people just seeing that alone is going to opt in you know they're not even giving away any money so it's not even a big deal so just that alone seeing that endorsement is going to cause them to opt in just to out of curiosity so if you can get someone like that as uh, to write a you know short testimonial or endorsement then absolutely add that in there if not I mean really any endorsement or testimonial is going to help you it's, it's showing that other people um, you know have downloaded the product and and like it <clears throat> and another way to do that is with social proof as I was hit on earlier um, Facebook comments are an excellent way to do that um, you can get a widget that will um, add a form you know wherever you want it on the squeeze page and people can actually um, comment on it so you know if you have a big email list already or some kind of a big following to where you can get you know quite a few people to come and do that then absolutely you should be doing that if not then it's probably not a good idea because if you only have one or two people that's actually going to do you know the opposite of what you want it to it's going to show people okay it's not very popular <laughs> you know there's this form right here that anybody can fill out and there's only a couple people doing it so um, you know be careful with that but that's basically it you know don't overthink a squeeze page squeeze pages are not um, very difficult you just want to make sure you have those um, few very important characteristics in there. Make it short and enticing as a, as a, as a whole. Uh, you want a, a bold, very descriptive headline. Um, that's very, very important. You want to show some proof of whatever it is you're claiming. You want to have a good call to action and a clear opt-in form below it. And then if you can, get some testimonials or some social proof. And just one good testimonial is better, better than nothing. And like I said, social proof, um, Facebook comments are great if you, can, if you have enough, um, a large of a following, <clears throat> a large enough of a following, excuse me, to actually, you know, fill it out and get quite a few people in there, then it's a great thing. If not, then it's probably not a good idea. Uh, but that's basically it. Squeeze pages are very effective in building lists. I, like I said, I've used them several times, given away several reports, gotten 10, 20,000 opt-ins from um, a few of those alone. So it definitely works, and it's something that you should definitely um, look into trying. You can kick out, you know, short little reports. You can give away you know small pieces of software I mean there's there's really um, the possibilities are endless and it doesn't have to be a big you know expensive time-consuming product that you're giving away it could just be something tiny you know it doesn't matter as long as it provides some type of value you can give it away via a squeeze page um, they're short they're easy to create after you create one or two it's gonna be a snack you're gonna be able to do it over and over so the more of these you can create uh, the more the bigger your list is gonna be it's that simple so hope that helps